Hello, what we have here is a Reaper configuration that talks to an X32. Uh, what we have currently is basically a Reaper OSC file that is taken care of by a program talking to the X32. So let's play a little bit of music, see what happens on the uh, X32. Well, things are playing on Reaper as they do on the X32. And basically what I can do is control uh, some of the uh, settings of the X32 directly from Reaper, uh, namely some faders. I can move, for example, the fader number one. You know, we can move any, any actually fader um, on the configuration. I uh, can mute and mute um, tracks, so muting track one, unmuting it, unmuting track two. I can solo, um, yeah, solo tracks. Um, so basically now only one track is playing, it's track number two, now it's going to be only pl uh, track number one playing, as you can see on the X32, this is what basically happens. Um, I can also rename tracks, and the name actually appears on the X32, and the pan functionality is working as well. Uh, so we have channel one selected here, and if you look closely at the balance button, uh, rotary button on the X32, it is moving accordingly to my um, pan function here. Um, at this time, everything works one way from the uh, Reaper function to the X32, and um, if you look at the program running in background, which displays still a lot of things, um, it is actually also listening to the X32, so if I move a fader on X32, Basically, a lot is going to happen on my window here, meaning that the program actually listens both ways, uh, both to the X32 and to Reaper, and basically communicates between both. Um, I'll be soon able to actually take the X32 data and move it back to Reaper so that Reaper reacts to the X32, the X32 becoming a control surface for Reaper. Thank you.